There has been a, a, a big effort in finding uh, new treatments for MDS, especially in lower risk ones. Let's say the goal was to induce transfusion independence after loss of response to, um, to ESAS. This is a big group of patients. They have a long survival, but still their quality of life is impaired by frequent transfusions. And there are a couple of drugs that are quite interesting. First of all, Luspartacept has been uh, very recently approved by FDA and EMA. Luspartacept is a, a TGF beta pathway inhibitor. It's a ligand trap that is blocking activin binding to receptors. And um, it uh, allows the final maturation of erythroid precursors. It has shown indeed uh, um, activity in promoting transfusion independence in patients with MDS with ring sideroblast. As many as 47.7% of patients did achieve uh, transfusion independence for a period longer than eight weeks. This drug is sub Q drug. It's given every three weeks and really allows patients to be freed by transfusion independence. It's a subgroup of MDS. But still, this subgroup is quite, cons well, it's a quite con conspicuous group. And these are the patients who have the best prognosis. Therefore, the patients who have the longer survival and the long uh, need and the long uh, transfusion uh, uh, period that really, as I mentioned before, may impair their quality of life. Uh, this is for what was approved, but uh, we also have a couple of drugs that are under uh, uh, evaluation. These are imetastat, completely different mechanism of action. Imetastat is a um, telomerase um, inhibitor, and uh, uh, it uh, uh, induce. It has been evaluated in a phase in a first uh, phase two uh, trial in which the patients received uh, the imetostat uh, every month, every four weeks, IV, and they uh, had a 42% transfusion independence. What is uh, quite interesting about this drug is that the uh, transfusion independence is kept for a long time. Median duration is uh, around 80 weeks. And uh, there are patients who have achieved, uh, one third of the patients who achieved uh, transfusion independence, independence maintained it for as much as one year or more, some of them for more than two years and a half. So I think it's a really uh, an interesting new drug. And uh, now there is a phase three randomized trial ongoing to confirm the consistency of these results. Another important thing about this drug is that it seems to have a, a disease-modifying activity because um, the patients treated who had, um, uh, who carried uh, SF3B1 mutation uh, experienced a decrease in the variant allele frequency of this mutation upon treatment with a metastat. And this is indeed a very important uh, observation. There is another uh, interesting drug it's an oral drug, it's Roxadustat. Again, a complete different uh, approach and mechanism of action. Roxadustat is uh, an inhibitor of HIF alpha hydroxylase, and um, it has been used in uh, uh, renal insufficiency patients with the anemia of renal insufficiency and uh, for patients in dialysis with success, and now is under experimental uh, study in uh, MDS, where was able to uh, induce 38% of transfusion independence. So this is what it can be said for lower risk MDS. There are more drugs uh, that are in an earlier phase of experimentation.